Hello, welcome to this video on database management software. This is part of a series of videos where we look at all the skills you need to know uh, for the database management software section of the GCSE ICT practical exam. Let's get started by looking at everything you need to know first of all as a checklist. So these are all the skills you need to know for the database management software. Um, we're actually going to start off with input data first of all, so we can get our database up and running and ready for everything else we need to do with it. So here is a list of everything you need to know when it comes to inputting data. There are two ways to input data into a database. You can input data using a table, this means manually entering it yourself, or it could be through um, inserting it as a separate spreadsheet file, or you can input data using a form. Let's have a look at these right now. Now, to input data into a database, there are really two main methods. The first is inputting data as a table. The other is to manually input data through a form. Okay, uh, I'm going to start off by showing you how to input data into Microsoft Access as a table. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into external data. So we're going to go over here to import and link and I'm going to click Excel. Now, I've actually already provided you guys with an Excel document in the resources folder. So, if you just click over on Browse, and you, now you should see a Supervillains spreadsheet uh, available in the database's resource folder. Just click on that and select Open. Okay, that's now been selected. And you can just click on OK. Uh, you can see the data is here, it's already separated into columns. Um, click next, let's go next as well. Now over here, it asks if you like to add a primary key or choose your own primary key. I will talk more about primary keys later on in another video. Um, for now, we're going to make sure the villain ID that's over here is our primary key. So I'm going to say choose my own primary key. And we'll select villain ID. Click next. Uh, and then we'll call the table supervillains. And then click finish. Close. And here you go. Here is our supervillains table, the data that we need inside. So that's how to import uh, data as a table into Excel. Now, let's say we're going to add a whole new villain in this one, B009 is what I would say. Now, I could manually type into this table if I wanted to, or I could do a more user-friendly approach, which is to create a form. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to go to Create, and we're going to go over to Form Wizard. And here we're going to set our table. I'm going to set the supervillains table. And we're going to set the double arrow, I suppose we'll call that, to say that we want all these fields in there. Click next. And actually, we just click next. Uh, and what happens is we'll, we'll just click finish. Okay. So here's our form, right? But there's a few things we need to change about this form. So I'm going to view and design view. These fields should definitely be the same size. So I'm actually going to highlight these two first of all and make them just about as, as thin as the other lines are. That was fine to me. Let me bring these all up so they're in roughly an equal space apart. That looks okay. Same with these ones here. That looks okay, sort of. Uh, I'm also going to make these guys a little bit smaller. I think that's a pretty good size. So I'm going to make these ones a little bit bigger as well. Okay. Now, one thing you also want to be aware of is to ensure the, the names for the fields are very easy to read. Now, I already wrote these ones earlier. These are actually fine. What you essentially want to get rid of here are any um, places where there should be spaces. Put sp there's not. Put spaces where there should be spaces. Um, any extra lower cases, you might want to do that. Or if you've got like code names in there and not actual field names, 
replace them the things that are just easier to read you also want to make sure the table is easy to read as well this one i've called it super villains i'm actually going to replace that with super villains entry form okay so it's very clear what we're using it for okay now another thing i want to do is i want to add a logo i'm going to put the avengers logo here so to do that design uh we're going to, we're going to insert image browse now here you see the logo click ok ok and there we go there's our, our logo just there we'll place it um i'm also going to actually even put this guy right in the center so if i stretch that out and go over to format click center so it's been centered uh and i can comment however i wish to i'm going to increase the size to about 22 does that even change anything i'm not even sure we'll just highlight it all properly yeah it did change it but not much okay that was okay to me um i want to make all capitals actually yeah so that's super villains entry form and then let's make that all uh, all bold there we go now uh you may want to change the uh the design of the form in the exam you want to check near the front of the exam paper to see if there's any sort of house style or it could be written in one of the questions what the house style is so let's just change that right now um so click on the blue area move to the logo side I'm just going to that blue space then under format shape fill and we can go from like a dark ish red or we may want to go like a bit more lighter red to here okay I'm going to make the the font obviously bear in mind at this point there's no specific guidelines for just practicing I forgot to do I did shape fill when I should have done text there we go and then I'm going to make this background. Actually, I'm going to make it the same color as the text over there. Okay. And then I'm going to try and fix all of these. Uh, let's see what it looks like red. Is that readable? Maybe a bold a bit. Yeah, I think that's okay, actually. I'm going to bring them in a bit more. Bring these a little bit closer. That didn't work, did it? Okay. I actually want to put this in the center. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, and then just to line them up with the fields, highlight those and put them on the right. Now this is looking a little bit more professional. Uh, we can check this back right now. Let's go to home and click view, then design view. Not design view, sorry. Home view, then click form view. And we can see this it's looking it's starting to look a little bit better i quite like this um should be much better than that to be fair um but anyways question design view the final thing i want to do is add some buttons to this form um so let's do that now up on the design tab you see this box with the four x's click on that and then draw a shape uh, you want to go to record operations and you want to use the ones that are in here so the add new record button will actually make the form blank so you can enter a new record we're going to do that one click next and in this option where you pick what goes on the button never pick picture always select text and if you ever ask why you would select text in an exam the reason is very simple by having text there it's easy for anyone to read it and know what that button does sometimes the pictures are quite unclear in terms of what the button will do so text makes it easier to know what each button will do making it more user friendly okay next uh and you don't have to give it a meaningful name here but we'll do that anyways we'll call it add record click finish that's the add record button we're going to add another one in here so we'll just um go up here 
clearly rectangle with four vertices. I thought I said square earlier. Did I say square earlier? I don't know. Uh, record operations. Um, let's have delete record. It's a pretty good one to have as well. Um, in case you find a record you don't really want it in there. Next. Text. It already kind of gives you a default text. Click finish. We have delete record in there. Go back to that box again. We're going to do another one. Sometimes I forget when you click it, the box doesn't pop up. The window doesn't pop up until you actually draw the shape. Okay, operations. We're going to duplicate record. Save record is another one we may need as well. That's when you, once you've entered a new record with all the new data in there, by clicking save, the data will then appear in the database. So click next. Text again, as always. Then we'll finish that one off. Um, those are your three standard ones you'd want to have. There might be two others that you may want, which would be like a, a next record and a previous record. So we can do that as well. We'll add those two in there as well. So we'll have a, a next one over here. Record navigation. So we're going to do uh, find next record. Or we can go to go to next record. Click next. Text. Finish. And then the final one, we go to previous record. Uh, go to previous record. Next. Text finish okay. and that is pretty much the form done okay so what I'm doing now is add record to create a whole new record in the database um, let me just close the villains so this is the last um, villain ID was with an A from V009 and we're actually going to tell you about the most um, dangerous villain all time um yeah you gotta be careful with this one so uh his name is uh is farzan um he's he's not very strong he's not very strong actually um he's got a strength of about six okay um he's also quite difficult to to see that's a house and really really uh sneaky uh he is quite intelligent and he is fairly fast um his combat is interesting uh when he's fighting more human beings it's more of a zero but when he fights things more his size like um ants uh well we can give him a 10 for that one so yeah quite quite a dangerous villain to be honest um so yeah we're now gonna click save and when we open up the super villains form you can see that one of our most evil villains is right here okay and that is how you enter data into a database by inputting it as a table and inputting it via a data entry form. Okay, so now we know how to input data using a table. Hopefully you can remember how to uh, insert a spreadsheet into a um, access file. And you can also in input data using a form as well. Remember that using a form is a more user-friendly method of entering data into a database, whereas you might choose to enter a spreadsheet if you've got a lot of data already stored in a spreadsheet. Um, it's better to import a spreadsheet as well as manually entering it on a form as it saves you time. So with that um, now done, we can tick off inputting data. Join me in the next video to have a look at identifying data types.